tell us a little about growing up as an Aleutian? Well, the first thing I remember is I went I ran to the beach where there was water. Oh! <laughs> I, I loved water. Uh huh. And uh, Dad and my mother lived, oh. lived together uh -huh. until my mother died. Uh huh. And uh, it was Dad and my brother and their one cousin, Amy. And uh, we, your, your dad took care of all three of you guys? Yes, yes. He, he liked kids. He liked my brother and my uh, cousin, so there's no trouble there. And you want to hear about the, the bombing of Dutch Harbor? The first thing I noticed right away was I was laying on the bed. I was laying in the bed. I wasn't on the, on the bed yet. And my dad grabbed me and grabbed my brother and cousin and ran for a lake in the back of the village. And we hid in the grass. So that was fine. And we had a bunch of GIs at the time in the village. And they sent one, one guy with a people to take care of us. Was he guarding you? Yes. Oh. Making sure we were down. Yes. And we didn't know uh, at the time that the Japanese were bombing Dutch Harbor. We heard it, you know, with noise. Right. With the bombs. Boom. 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 And uh, I was busy, a kid, a young kid, I ran there just like the rest of the kids. I didn't even think of the bombs, you know. I could hear them, but they didn't register. And uh, later I knew what they were. People started talking about bombs. The Japanese are bombing Dutch Harbor. And they're laying in the grass, uh -huh. and they're talking, and I could hear them. The Japanese were bombing the Dutch Harbor. At the time, uh, there was a, a bunch of GIs in Dutch Harbor, and they were stationed there. And 45 of the GIs were killed. Ooh. Do you think they were the target? Yes. <clears throat> Rather than the town yes. and the, yes. the port. Was that the only place the Japanese bombed, or did they bomb other villages and islands also? Well, bombed the village named Atka. Okay. And uh, Atka, they bombed the church mm -hmm. there and they bombed the houses in the back of the village. They are lucky they didn't hit the village, they hit the back of the village. The bombs were hit at the wrong place. They were told to get out of the village, and they ran for the hills. And they stayed in the hills for about a week. Luckily, it was summer, and uh, when they came back, to the village, the church was gone, the houses were bombed, and that was all that was left of the village. They stayed in the village for about two weeks. One day, we looked out in the bay, and there were ships come across, across the bay. I could see smoke, you know? Yeah. And I saw the GIs of the village they grabbed a truck, they brought the, some guns back. Yeah. After they bombed, were you left in town? Were you still in yeah, your village? Stayed, yeah. Or did you get moved? No, they stayed in the village. <clears throat> okay. 
We sit in the village. Didn't they at some time move the people off the Aleutian Islands? Yes, they were, they were taken to Dutch Harbor by a ship. The David W. Branch, I remember the ship. And they, they, uh, they took two villagers in the, in, the, in the ship. It was a fairly large ship. The people off Islanders were taken off the island. The St. George people were taken off the island. And the, the, uh, the Astra people were taken yeah. off the village. There was a lot of people on that, that the boat. They used the same language no, and could talk uh, to each other? The Astra people talked a different language. And, uh, they spoke their own language in the village. And uh, we could understand them, but half of the time we couldn't. Well, they're taken to Dutch Harbor and put in a ship, and they headed for the southeast of Alaska. In southeastern, the active people were put in one village, one Canary, and it's bad for them. It's bad. People died. You know, right away they started dying in, in southeast Alaska, and uh, the older people and the young people. It was old and young that died. And TB. Yes, TB. Uh -huh. And the, that's what it was. We didn't know it then. Eventually, what happened to them? Did they go back home? Yes, they or? sent them. We could live in the village, but just live there. The, the houses were wrecked. The, yeah. the, the, uh, the, the houses were uh, smashed. Our children are... are Church was shot up, you know, with the you know, rifles. It was the army that did that, and the navy. The U.S. We didn't do it. The U.S. Army and Navy. Yes, they killed. Uh, they, they wrecked our churches, and they were good. The van knew just about when they left. The houses were um, torn up. You know, yeah. Windows were broken, and uh, somehow we fixed them up so we could live in them. What religion? What church was there, Larry? They're all Russian Orthodox in the Aleutian Islands. Well, weren't the Aleutian Islands originally, or before we bought them? Owned by Russia? Yes. And so it makes sense we're Russia, that. Yeah, we're Russian. Where'd you go to high school? Mount Edgecum. Where is that? That's a volcano. Uh, that's, that's, on, that's off the ocean in Sitka. Oh, oh. Yeah. South, southern Alaska. Southeastern Alaska. Uh huh. And Mount Edgecum was a beautiful. And that's where you learned to sing? Yes, we had a priest that uh, was, uh, he came from uh, France. Oh. And uh, he's a prisoner of war. Oh. In, in France. He started the kids there. And we started the uh, Orthodox Glee Club. And we, we sang, kids were, were good singers, though. most of them were good singers. And they, uh, all the kids sang in the high school. Well, Boys and girls, you know. They like to sing orthodox music. Uh -huh. that's, that's what, 
That's what they say. <laughs> Did you sing bass then too? No. <laughs> no, I sing uh, soprano. Soprano. <laughs> and uh, as a little guy, I was the smallest guy in my class. One day, the, the teacher showed up in our class, you know, and looked at me and he said, Are you old enough to be here? And I said, Yes, sir. You're old enough to be here? Yes. What class are you in? Uh, freshman. Freshman. <laughs> and I was 13. Uh -huh. when I joined the uh, good club. Well, we were boys, 17 boys. 17. And we traveled all over southeast of Alaska. You know, Ketchikan, and uh, and all the churches we sang in, in the churches. Every town we came to, we were, we were given a loyal, loyal, well, a welcome. Yeah, a welcome. Yeah. yeah. That's the way it was. And we came ashore and we sang for all the people. And the people came up in bunches. And we liked that. Uh huh. We liked that. Did they feed you? Yes. Yes. With, with the native food and art food. Ah. <laughs> they took good care of us in the village. They gave us an old place to stay and uh, the. A uh, warm bed. Yeah. Yeah. And meals. Good meals. We usually stayed in the village about three days. It's a great time for all of us. We learned to sing good music. And you learn that people appreciate that. Yes, they did. And it's that's good. a good thing to learn. Yes. Where did you learn to play guitar and well, piano or organ? Organ, I started for the kid. Or the Small kid. Uh -huh. I, there was an old organ in the school, and I learned to play on that thing. Da, 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 da. One of the old pump organs? Yeah, pump organ. Yeah. And uh, the guitar I picked up when I met Patty. I didn't play much guitar until then, but but that, that guitar I learned. Uh, in about, um, I'd say a year, I, went, I took a lessons in, in the town, uh -huh. Irish music, and I took a lessons. And uh, I met a guy that the, played classic guitar. And he was good. He was really good. Uh -huh. And I, I learned that way.